this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Check out my merch on Teespring. I got a lot of shirts and stuff over there. Merchandise you can buy over there. And also, check out my other channel and stuff. Um, link below. You can subscribe over there. Appreciate that over there and everything. Also, if you want to contribute to the channel, support and everything. So, I appreciate it. So, um, thank you. What up? This is DC Channel Guns coming at you with another video, people. Appreciate it if you found the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification button. Share it on your favorite social media platform so you will know when I drop a video and stuff over here. So, with that said, hey, support your 2A Challenge Gun channel. You always know what's going on in the 2A community right now. We need all the help we can right now. Um, also, um, uh, appreciate the comments and stuff. I appreciate all the energy y'all bring over here and stuff. Um, go over there and subscribe to DC Channel TV, people. We do a lot of stuff over there, investing and stuff like that. So if you subscribe here, subscribe to them over there because I'll be dropping a lot of videos and stuff over there too. So with that said, we're going to get into the video, people. And I know a bunch of you have already heard the news and stuff with the ATF and everything, talking about these force um, reset triggers when it comes to certain triggers and stuff. Um, that you know, it's got a short reset, but you can, but you know, you get a faster pull and stuff on them. Now, uh, we're back to the same old game with the ATF people. I'm talking about a lot of us in the 2A community, we have been going down, going, playing ring around the roses with the ATF. They just sent out more letters, letters and stuff to the gun owners and gun shops and gun manufacturers and stuff, you know, so they can buy more time, so they can sit back in, behind the scenes and find out what else they can come at the 2A community with. And like I told you before, you have administration people. Now, I've been dropping little videos. If you've been watching me for a while, I always tell you that, you know, we got a long fight ahead when it comes to the Second Amendment. And, you know, with that said, you know, all this news and stuff now we're hearing about the ATF coming, coming out about these rare breed triggers and stuff like that. Um, to my, they've been in the background for a long time about this and stuff like that. This is not just happening overnight. And so the ATL, like I said before, they send out these letters and oh, you know, that letter, they change it, they change this letter. No, this is illegal, this legal. This game that, that I'm talking about, this, you have millions and millions of gun owners who have the items, just like the bump stocks and all this other stuff that they want to ban and stuff like that, people. You have millions of gun owners who went out and purchased the items and stuff like that. And now here come the ATF again. Now, here they go again. Now, want to go start confiscating and do all this kind of stuff. And they're going to turn legal gun owners into criminals, felons. That seems to be the playbook, people. I'm talking about, I could be up here all day of all these videos and the 2A community that talked about ATF changing letters and sending different letters. And, you know, the gun shop get the okay, the manufacturer get the okay. No, and then they go back, oh, well, we changed the definition and stuff. I'm talking about, it's tiresome to the 2A community, people. And I told you, I told my, you know, you, it's always something going on in the background when it comes to your Second Amendment. Your firearms, your items, your accessories, every little thing that they can sit around. And, you know, like I said before, a lot of people have bought these things and it seemed like when they go after something, they wait till millions of gun owners have it. And then they say, oh, it's illegal now. So this is the type of game that the ATF is playing. And when we have administration who is pretty much now with all this Said and done, people, you're probably not going to hear that nowhere, but I'm going to tell you, we had this recent gun violence, a police officer's been wounded, you have criminals out here with these little, um, you know, little triggers, or they got these little gadgets to make the firearm rapid fire and all this kind of stuff, up to my then drop videos of that, and then boom, here go the ATL talking about these, um, these force reset triggers, grab read triggers and stuff, people, it's all connected, people. It is all connected. I'm talking about, like I said before, they ramp it up. They got the ramp. They ramp up the news and everybody ramping up all about these these illegal triggers and 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 items that make firearms rapid fire. And then all of a sudden, boom! Here go the ATF people. I'm talking about. We done seen this play play many times. So you know, like I said before, this administration is behind all this type of stuff, people. Uh, we got a long fight ahead. And so you know, when it comes to these um, force reset triggers and stuff. I'm going to drop you a video at the end of this video here, but this is nothing new, people. This this has been investigated. This, this was a month ago when this was released and stuff and everything. So all this stuff about what's happening now, 
I'm talking about a lot of you already knew. I'm talking about, you know, I've been looking at this, just really ain't said too much on it and stuff like that. But a lot of people already knew about this, but this is what we're dealing with right now. So this is how the ATL likes to do this stuff. And right now we're in January, people. I'm talking about, you think about every January, February, March of every year, the ATL come out with something. I remember in 2019, 2020, 2021, beginning of the year, we, we, we're talking about something that the ATF is coming after and stuff like that. I remember you remember the the um you remember the um arm braces and stuff like that. You remember those? We went over and over with that until my so like I said before, people, this is is, is in the playbook, it seems like. So I'm gonna drop this video, what you're gonna see after this and everything. But I'm just putting my little two cents on it, people. Just trying to make you think a little bit more about what's going on and stuff. So these are the type of the games that we're gonna have to deal with as gun owners in the two-way community and stuff like that when it comes to the ATF and this administration and stuff like that. So uh, with that said, um, check out the video and everything. More on these force reset triggers and everything that ATF is um, coming down on. So this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. Gun part, it's hitting close to home. A Chandler business says that they are the largest dealer in the country of a trigger that makes AR-15s fire faster. But the ATF says not so fast that it should be classified as a machine gun. Steve Nielsen joins us live with more tonight. Steve. Yeah, this really comes down to the letter of the law and who you trust depends on your interpretation of it. The ATF wants the production of this to be stopped in its track, but the manufacturer says they're fighting back. It's a small movement. Super small and super fast. Still within the rules. A new type of trigger that only needs an eighth of an inch to reset. Even though it's an eighth of an inch, you are still pulling that trigger every single time. Chandler Company, PreppersDiscount.com can't keep the $450 to $600 part in stock. This is by far our most popular product we've ever sold. By far, hands down. But the ATF has taken notice. It's called the Rare Breed FRT-15 Trigger. That small motion allows someone to fire an AR-15 much quicker. Popping. In a cease and desist letter last year, the ATF told Rare Breed it turns rifles into machine guns. But the company says because the trigger has to be pulled for every bullet, it's still semi-automatic. Firearms legal analyst Mark Victor says with the National Firearms Act, semantics are important. There are many areas, as you might imagine, especially when you're dealing with firearms, where we just don't know uh, what the answer is. For Prepper's discount, the outcome of the battle will be massive since they say they're the largest dealer of the trigger in the country. This is a national thing that can affect millions of Americans. And we reached the owner of Rare Breed by phone. They said they're resubmitting evidence to the ATF for reconsideration. He added, our legal position remains that as the law is written, the FRT-15 is a perfectly legal semi-automatic trigger. The ATF said that they don't comment on litigation. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.